You love me? What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. It just came out. Is it a trick or something? Try to save me and keep me from Jonathan? That's not what this is. It's the truth. I love you. Stop it. But we had this conversation months ago. Remember? Love me or love me like a friend. No. Um, Maggie, things have changed. Because Lena... Because Lena dumped you? No. That's not Stop what it. this is at all. I'm with Jonathan now. It's where I want to be. Just because your relationship with Lena didn't work out doesn't mean that you can go and trash mine, okay? I'm not going to let it happen. Jonathan makes me feel like no one ever has. He makes me feel wanted and needed and beautiful. Maggie, you're trying way too hard. Me? Me? What about you? The sermon, the, the stupid pamphlet. You know what? Butt out of my life. Maggie, Maggie, no, Maggie. Okay, stop, please. You can hate me. You can cuss me out. I, I don't care. But don't go back to him. Don't put yourself in danger. Danger? Please. Please, he loves me. He talks about his plans, our plans, our future together. And once, once he just finds a job where he's appreciated and where he's needed, we are going to have that future together. And don't ever expect to be a part of it. I hope I gave you enough time with Maggie. Oh, yeah. You gave me plenty of time to turn it into a total disaster. Oh, uh, what happened? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Do you ever look at somebody and all of a sudden in a flash just feel something that you didn't quite expect? What are we talking about? This give you a clue about how well I got through to Maggie? Bianca, so you keep trying. How? The Maggie that I know would never let a guy abuse her. So how is it that that same woman is running back to a man who could hurt her or even kill her? Maggie is never intimidated by anyone. So how is it that she can't see through Jonathan? Maybe a part of her doesn't want to. Maybe she was rejected by somebody that she really cared about. And she feels unloved, lonely. And along comes Jonathan, you know, telling her that she's the greatest thing on the planet. And makes her forget about whoever let her down. Why did you lock me out? So sorry. So was I. Couldn't open the door and talk about things? No. I couldn't answer. I wanted to make sure I had control of my temper. It was just... It was my messed up way of protecting you. Maybe Jonathan won't hurt Maggie again. Chances are... The worst thing is, abusive guys are, are pretty unpredictable. Dinner gets burned, maybe not such a big deal, but buy the wrong soda, and they go ballistic. It's like living with Jekyll and Hyde. So you're not mad? Of course not. No. Maybe I fucked you out of our apartment. I'm the jerk. I'm just... I'm so glad you came back. Why do you always say that? You know, why, why do you put yourself down? Yes, it does. Maggie, sometimes you... You say things... You put me down. You probably don't even know you're doing it. It's just... It's hard on the old ego, you know? What do I say to hurt you? Jonathan, please don't. Men like Jonathan, they use it. They twist a woman into so many knots, she starts to believe that she's actually responsible. That it's her fault that she pushed him too far. Maggie's a fighter. There's no way that she would put up with that. Sounds like Maggie's too off balance to fight. 
she's like most victims. She's convinced herself that she has to do the right thing and say the right thing, and the abuse will stop. Will you just tell me what I did wrong? What I said? I'm just trying to make sense of this. I lost it when you said you were disappointed in me. You called me stupid. How many times? I... I felt like I was under attack, and I wanted it to stop, so I lashed out. And I'm an idiot. I did it with my fist instead of words. I love you so much. I just... I want to be everything to you. And if I think that you look down on me, if I think that you feel like I'm an idiot, oh, I don't... Oh, no, no, no. I don't. I love you so much. I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do that again. That's how it was for me when I was raped. I thought for sure that it was my fault. Then you have a, a beat on what's going on in Maggie's head. I was so ashamed. I thought that I was the one who set Michael off. As crazy as it sounds, I thought that I was the one to blame. Thank God that, that you got through it. Yeah, with counseling and because of Maggie. I wish you'd known her then. She was fearless. She was the first person that I told and the only person that I knew that I could count on. Really, I knew that I could tell her anything and everything, and somehow I felt that it would make everything okay. God, why did I ever let go of that? May I have this dance? I told Bianca to leave you alone and to stay out of our lives. You're my champion. You know that? You're incredible. God, you'd go to the wall for me. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm quite bad, too. I am? How could you not know that? You turn me on like no one ever has. How could you ever think you were gay? I was wrong. It was all a mistake. Go in there to Maggie's apartment and grab her and yank her out of there. All she would do is fight to stay. So what are we supposed to do? Just watch? Just give her more pamphlets to rip up? You, you be her friend. Spend time with her. Try to get back the relationship that you used to have. Because if you push her too far, she's going to run. Yeah, I did that and she's gone. Mm -hmm. 